Yeah, man. What a guan. I am Mikel Marvin Samuels. Watch me cook pork butter bean brown stew, aka brown stewed pork with beans. Get one pound between one and a half pound pork stew, one between two stalks scallion, one medium sized onion, eight between ten garlic cloves, half scotch bunny pepper, two whole cloves, quarter teaspoon dried pimento berries, quarter inch piece ginger, springtime the size of one finger, one teaspoon distilled white vinegar. I'm using cider vinegar. You could use any flavored vinegar. One teaspoon browning. One tablespoon soy sauce. Tin slash can broad or butter beans. Two tablespoons cooking oil. Today I am using palm oil. Half tablespoon parsley flakes. Half tablespoon basil flakes. Half teaspoon marjoram flakes. Quarter teaspoon oregano flakes. Quarter teaspoon sage powder. Quarter teaspoon tarragon leaves. You could use any of these herbs, dried or fresh. One tablespoon rosemary leaves. Quarter teaspoon grounded nutmeg. Quarter teaspoon jerk seasoning or A1 sauce. Two and a half cup water. Tablespoon, maybe quarter teaspoon more salt. I am using sea salt. Two tablespoons ketchup. One small tomato. Visit JamaicanDinners.com, JamaicanCookings.com for the recipe. Gather herbal one place. I am using this plate. Grind quarter teaspoon nutmeg and then put it on the plate. Get a coffee grinder. Put two dried whole cloves on the plate. Put the whole cloves into the coffee grinder and then put herbal flakes in the coffee grinder. Grind herbal flakes to herbal powder 40 seconds. If using dried and fresh herbs, grind the dried herbs first and then you could put the fresh herbs on the grinded dried herbs and then grind it again. Put the herbal powder on the plate to the side. Measure one tablespoon, you could use quarter teaspoon more salt. Put salt on the plate. I am using sea salt. The seasonings on the plate, keep them separate. Put half scotch bonnet pepper on the plate. Measure quarter teaspoon dried pimento berries and then put it on the plate. Get a bowl, pour enough water into the bowl. Sprinkle several drops of distilled white vinegar in the water. You could use a couple of pinches of salt instead. Wash the vegetable seasonings clean. Wash springtime's leaves clean. And then rinse it. Put cleaned thyme's leaves on the plate. Cut quarter inch piece ginger with skin. Use your fingers. Rub the ginger's skin clean. And then rinse it. Put peace ginger on a plate. Today I do not have a tomato, but when you're cooking and using a tomato, wash it now and then rinse it. Dice the tomato and then put it on the plate. Get a chopping mat. I washed and put my scallion in the freezer. If using fresh scallion, rip off dying leaves. Chop root end and the tip of the leaf that's dying. Wash scallion now, rinse it. Use a sharp knife or a cooking scissors. Dice scallion and then put diced scallion on the plate. Peel garlic cloves. Trim spoilage. Grind the garlic to puree or use the same knife and mash it to pulp. Put the mashed garlic on the plate. Peel the onion. I like to cut the onion in half. It's easier to handle. Remove the browned leaf only. The first layer of the onion is the strongest. Dice onion fine. I like to slice the onion fine. 
put diced or sliced onions on the plate. Keep the vegetable seasonings separate. This is container number one, and this is container number two. In natural cooking, I like to add the vegetable seasonings twice. Therefore, put half scotch bonnet pepper into container number two. Put half of the seasonings in each container. Put dried pimento berries into container number one. Put half diced scallion in each container. Put half diced onions in each container. Put springtime in container number two. Put peace ginger in container number two. Put half mashed garlic in each container. Put half herbal powder in each container. Put half salt in each container. Measure one teaspoon distilled white vinegar. Put diced tomato jerk seasonings or A1 sauce in container number two. This is container seasonings number two. And this is container seasonings number one. Put seasonings aside, go to the next step. If using dried broad beans, wash it properly and then rinse it. Pressure cook it in enough water for 12 between 15 minutes and then drain the water. If using canned slash tinned broad or butter beans, wash the surface of the can clean. Open can, drain the syrup slash water. I like to sprinkle several drops of distilled white vinegar on the beans and then pour some water on it. Rinse it. Butter beans. Go to the next step. Next, wash the meat for cooking. Get a big enough bowl that you use to season meat only. Remove pork stew from the container and then put it into the bowl. This is pork stew. It's already chopped two inches pork chunks. This is chopped pork stew chunks. Look on it. If you see porks here on it, remove it. If you see anything that is not pork, remove it. Put two limes or two tablespoons lime juice near. Cut one or two ripening or green lime and then squeeze the juice on the pork stew. You could use two tablespoons of lime or lemon juice instead. Now use your fingers. Rub the lime juice on the pork thoroughly. The acid in the lime juice will clean the pork stew clean. Use your fingers. Rub the pork stew clean. Pour some water on it. Use your fingers. Rinse it clean. Drain water and then pour some more water on it. Give pork stew a final rinse. Drain water. This is clean pork stew chunks. Go to the next step. Like I said, this is prepped pork stew chunks. It's already cut, it's already chopped two inches. However, if the pork stew chunk is too big, chop two inches pork chunks. Put a pressure cooker to heat. Put the stove's gauge on four, medium low. If into the pressure cooker is wet, use a paper towel, dry it. Measure and add two tablespoons between quarter cup cooking oil. I am using palm oil. You could use coconut oil, vegetable oil, etc. Allow the cooking oil to get hot for a few seconds. Put seasonings in container one near. After a few seconds, add diced onions. It is not safe to add the dried pimento berries in the heating oil. It might burst and hurt you. Use a cooking spoon, stir it into the oil. Allow it to saute 30 seconds. Add diced scallion. Use a cooking spoon, stir it in the oil. Allow diced scallion to saute 30 seconds. Add mashed garlic. Use a cooking spoon, 
stir it in the cooking oil. Allow it to saute 20 seconds. Measure two and half cup water and have it near. Add peace ginger in the heating oil. Add pork stew chunks in the pressure cooker. Now is a better time to add the dried pimento berries. Add dried pimento berries. And then add remaining seasonings from container one, the herbs, salt, etc. Use a cooking spoon, stir it. Stir it a few times. Pour the water in the pressure cooker. If cooking more than one pound of pork stew, just double the ingredients. Measure one teaspoon browning, add it in the pressure cooker. Measure one tablespoon soy sauce, and then add it in the pressure cooker. Use a cooking spoon, stir it. Look at the water if it's the right brown color. You don't want the water to be too dark. You want the water to have just the right brown color. This color is great. Use the pressure cooker's lid. Lock pressure cooker tight. Lock it properly. Put the gauge on cook food, not pressure release. The stove's gauge is on four, medium low, allow. After time, turn off the stove's flame. Allow it to cool on its own. Don't ever put the gauge on pressure release. In my opinion, the flavor escapes with it. You always hear some people say, I don't like using pressure cooker because it always makes the food taste fresh. This is the reason why. In my opinion. If you are in Ori, you could dip the pressure cooker in water and let it release steam naturally. See, once this nozzle goes down, this is a signal to say it is safe to open. Don't ever pour water over the pressure cooker or on the top. You might pour water in it and you don't want that. Now you can turn the nozzle on pressure release to be on the safe side. And then remove the pressure cooker's lid safely. To ensure the pork stew chunk is cooked and tenderized just right, use a cooking fork, poke it, juke the fork right through the pork stew chunk. If it goes through easily, it's tenderized. This is ready. If the fork is not going through, it's tough. Pressure it some more. We are go to the next step. We are going to the next step. I don't like to cook in my pressure cooker. You could if that's what you want. Some people actually continue cooking in the pressure cooker. I want to pour the stew into a medium sized saucepan slash stew pot. Turn the stove's gauge flame on four, medium low. Add seasonings from container number two in the stew and then use a cooking spoon. Stir it few times. The stove's gauge is on four. If the bean is as firm as these, add beans no. However, if the beans are soft, add the beans 10 minutes near the end. Use a cooking spoon, stir it, and then use the pan's lid. Cover it fully. The stove's gauge is on four, medium low, allow. Cover it properly. Keep the lid closed within the time. After 20 minutes stewing, this is it. Use a cooking spoon, stir it few times. Look at this brown. This is the color brown water that you want. This looks good. Keep the piece pepper on top. Watch it. Use a pan's lid. Cover it. The stove's gauge is on four, medium low, allow. After 10 minutes more, totaling 30 minutes stewing, this is it. Look at this brown. You see how the color changed a little bit? Use a cooking spoon. Stir it few times. Look 
how firm this bean is still. If you add the beans early, this will make the beans juicy in the end. Now is the best time to remove peas pepper. You don't want the pepper to soften and mash out in the stew. This might make it spicy. Some people might not like it spicy. Measure two tablespoons ketchup and then add it in the stew. Use a cooking spoon, stir the ketchup in the stew. Use the pan's lid, cover it fully. The stove gauge is on four, medium low, allow. After five minutes more, totaling 35 minutes stewing, this is it. Use a cooking spoon, stir it few times. The stew is sticking in. Use the pan's lid, cover it. The stove gauge is still on four, medium low, allow. After three between five minutes more, totaling 40 minutes stewing. This is it. Stir it a few times. I want the gravy to thicken just right. I'm gonna let it stay for the two more minutes. Cover it. After two minutes more, totaling 40 minutes. I would say the 40 minutes stewing. This is it. Stir it a few times. Once the stew starts sticking to the pot's bottom, this is a sign to say it's ready. Turn off stove's flame. Finish. Use the pan's lid. Cover it until serving. Before serving this pork, butter, beans, brown stew, Use a cooking spoon, stir up the stew, stir the stew a few times. Moist up the meat. Take a scoop of this delicious pork, butter beans, brown stew. I am putting it on a plate of rice. This is pork, butter beans, brown stew, aka brown stewed pork. You should try making this pork beans brown stew yourself. I know you will love this natural flavor. Leave a comment, subscribe, like, and share. Visit JamaicanDinners.com, JamaicanCookings.com. This pork butter beans brown stew has major flavors. The herb and the vegetable seasonings add a natural flavor to this meal. It's bursting with flavor. The beans taste juicy with this pork stew sauce slash gravy. To preserve pork brown stew, Put it in the refrigerator for no more than three or four days. Put it into a container, seal it, label it, and date it. Freeze it for six months or longer. Let this pork, butter, beans, brown stew stay room temperature two to three hours before serving and then warm it up before serving. This will allow the stew to mature. If you are intimidated to use herbal powder, use some different mix of powdered seasonings instead. Megan, until next time, walk good.